If you've ever wondered how to cook a spaghetti squash, I'm gonna show you how. In so many different ways, it is super simple to do, and then you can make spaghetti squash everything. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with The Suburban Soapbox, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a spaghetti squash. It is super simple to do, and with the fall season, there's spaghetti squash everywhere, and recipes for spaghetti squash that you're gonna wanna try. I have a foolproof way to make it in the microwave, but I'll also tell you how to make it in the oven, the slow cooker, and an instant pot. So first and foremost, you're going to need a spaghetti squash. I have a little bit of olive oil and some salt. That's it, that's all you need to cook it, and then anything else that you do to it is extra. So all of these spaghetti squash are different. These two are from the grocery store, and you usually find like the mammoth ones at the grocery store. I don't know where they get them from, but they're like prehistoric size and they're almost impossible to cut. So I like to try to stick with something a little smaller. It's going to be easier to cut. And my biggest tip to you is make sure you have a very sharp knife. Otherwise you're going to injure yourself. Most injuries happen with knives that are not sharp. This one is from a farm stand. See the nice golden yellow color? I feel like when you get them locally, they're actually much more vibrant. I feel like there's more vitamins and nutrients in a squash that has a lot of color to it. I've heard people say that. I'm not a nutritionist, but I'm gonna go with that. So we're gonna cut this one because it's small and I don't want any injuries on video, ever. So to cut your spaghetti squash, we're not gonna cut through the stem end, we're gonna cut to the stem end. So you wanna make sure you're on a flat surface and you're just going to stick the tip of the knife into your spaghetti squash and just work it through. It takes a lot of effort to cut these buggers. And I like to cut through to the bottom. You'll see like the little indentation down here. And then flip it over and continue cutting through that way. And it may not be completely perfectly in half, but you get the gist. So now we're just gonna break it in half. Just like that. You're never gonna get the knife through the stem end. You're never gonna get the knife through the stem end. You almost need a chainsaw to cut these in half. So now we're just gonna scoop out the center. If you have any better tips on how to cut it, feel free to leave that down there in the comment section. I know some people will par cook the spaghetti squash in the oven, just roast it for a little bit, and then try to cut it. I don't really like to do that. So you wanna get all of that out of the center. I don't have one, but if you have a grapefruit spoon, that makes a great tool for getting this out. So you wanna make sure you have all the stringiness out. Both sides, get this one. And I have a lot of people ask if you can roast the seeds. You can certainly roast the seeds, just like a pumpkin. So just pull your seeds out of all of the stringiness and toss them in a little olive oil and salt and throw them in a baking sheet pop them in a 325 degree oven until they're like crispy and golden. To prep your spaghetti squash for roasting or steaming in the microwave, which is the way that we're gonna do it today, we're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the surface. Just like that. And then we're gonna sprinkle with a little bit of salt. You can season with garlic powder, onion powder, some pepper. I'm just gonna leave it simple here. And then cut side down to allow the steam to come out. You're going to stab. This one's not right. 
So let's pretend this is ripe and you're going to stab the surface of your spaghetti squash with a fork and that will release the steam. You don't need to cover this. You can put this in the microwave for 10 minutes at high power and then check it at 10 minutes when it's done, stick a paring knife into it and if it easily pierces the skin, goes into the flesh, then it's ready. If not, put it in for another five minutes at high power and then it will definitely be cooked through. If you're going to cook this in a slow cooker, you can just plop these right into the base of a slow cooker and cook it on high for an hour or two hours will totally do the trick. The Instant Pot, you're going to pop them into an Instant Pot and cook at high pressure for 10 minutes. And if you want to roast it in the oven, cut side down in the baking dish, roast in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Again, check with a paring knife. Once your paring knife pierces the skin and the flesh easily, it is done. This spaghetti squash is finished cooking. This one was ripe. And you can see like how easily this peels away from the skin. I mean, I guess in theory you can eat the skin, but I think you have a little bit of a digestion issue. You can see how fluffed up that's becoming. So there you go. That's your spaghetti squash cooked in the microwave in just 15 minutes. My favorite way to zhuzh this up for an easy side dish or like a quick lunch is adding a little bit of olive oil, maybe a little bit of butter, some garlic powder. You can even use some chopped garlic, a pinch of salt, fresh red pepper, or some spice and some shaky cheese, Parmesan cheese, from a can, because I'm classy like that. And we're just gonna mix it all up. This is so easy and so good. Take a little bite. Mm. That is amazing. And I'm not one for like replacing my carbs with spaghetti squash, but this is totally satisfactory. So delicious. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.